Hello and welcome back to another quick tutorial. Today we will look into how to add dynamically child nodes to a custom element. But before we start, let's have a look how to add, for example, on the UI side, that kind of thing, what we try to approach later on only with code. So to start, we will take a grid container and add other child nodes to it, for example, a label. We pass some custom string to it so that it holds something what we can visualize in the editor, like sample. And then let's copy and paste it multiple times and put it on the same level um, as a child of the grid container. And as you can see, the grid container is resizing accordingly um, and showing the different labels underneath. And now let's try to do the same, but only in code. Therefore, we delete it, what we just added, and try now to add everything in a similar manner so that we just made it through the code. So in order to start, of course, we need a code editor. Uh, we open our Rust uh, dedicated project and add a new component like customgrid.rs. Of course, we need to reference it in the librs file. Uh, because it's a new model. Next, we can start the implementation on the custom grid. We create a new struct, custom grid. Um, we pass a base of the type um, grid container. And we need, of course, to import it. And then we need to ensure that we derive um, the uh, go dot class from it so that it's accessible and also we need to ensure that the class is referencing with the base to the particular um, thing what we want to use in that case the grid container in order to satisfy the traits we need to implement the i um, grid container for our new created struct. And that one comes with an init method, what we will use to create our new um, yeah, instance. Don't forget to add also the macro for the go.api, that that one gets exposed to the editor. And then we need to change the base type to match our base type what we declared in the struct, so that should be the grid container. And of course, we just return now, for example, self um, and the base as a custom field. Mm -hmm. Then we ensure to import the base from go.objectBase. And then we can actually start the implementation for our new function where we want to initialize our children and add them. So therefore, we just uh, extend the custom grid with a new function. Well, let's call it init children. And that method should actually append uh, child nodes to the custom grid itself. Because we are mutating the internal things, of course, it needs to be declared as mutable. And then let's use an iterator um, or a for loop in order to go through it. From 0 to 10. So we will add now uh, 10 labels uh, to it. As a next step, let's create our label and say new alloc. So that's now our new instance. Please note that it needs to be mutable because we want to set the label. And then we say set text. So maybe let's put the text of the label in a separate variable and assign it with the format and use the to go dot to convert it to a go dot string. Then we can pass it to the set text method 
and that's our basic label. Now we need to assign it actually to our base class. So please note, there is a bit of a um, trickier situation because it, this is the only case when you try to do it in the init method, you are not allowed to use the base underscore mute, for example. You need to use this two go dot, so this two underscore gd in order to add the children, as otherwise it will not show up in the um, editor and it will also crash the editor. So that's only relevant if you try to use a method within the init which requires the base to work. If you put the same thing in the ready method, for example, it would work as expected. So then you should keep with the base underscore mute function reference. And then we can actually call it um, in the init as you see here. And when everything works out and we compile it, we should not see any error anymore. Check quick formatting. Ensure to save also that one and then let's try to build it and it seemed to work. Next let's reload our project in the Godot editor and once it was launching we should actually see now a new custom node what we can add. In that case our custom grid, use the plus symbol, enter custom grid and we should see our text written. Yay! And of course the cool thing is you can now assign custom layouts or themings to it based on the editor configuration. So for example you select the custom grid, go to theme, add a new theme and here you can now use the picker tool to select the label for example and change the font size to make it bigger. Of course, ensure that you are stopping the um, Godot um, play mode so that you can assign a different value. As you can see, the size is updating accordingly. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I say again, thank you for watching. See you next time.